Good Thursday morning. I'm Carly Boyette. Good morning. I'm Natalie Taylor. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, in case you didn't know, <laughs> this week has been designated Grouper Ooh. Week here in Tampa Bay by Visit St. Pete Clearwater, and we have got a rather large friend, I would say. I know. Joining us today, though, with the details is David Downing, along with the award-winning chef Ted Dorsey, who is going to do a little grouper demo for us. Good morning, guys. Hey, Carly. Hey, Natalie. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we are well. This is amazing. Happy grouper week. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is grouper week. Um, it's so big here that it gets its own week. We, we were talking earlier and according to the Department of Agriculture, 7.2 million pounds of grouper comes out of the Gulf each year. 4.2 million wind up right here in Pinellas County. So St. Pete Clearwater is the grouper capital yeah. of the world. Do they all look like this guy? Not all of them. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> what kind of grouper is this one here? That's a gag grouper. He was spear caught off the coast of Sarasota yesterday afternoon. He's about, oh my gosh. About 25 pounds. 25 to 30 pounds. What is the average? I mean, is this an average for this type of grouper? I mean, is uh, this... gags get pretty big. Um, most of them range anywhere between five and 30 to 40 pounds. OK, and chef, we're in for a treat because actually that's what you're making for us yes, as well. It is. So I was going to say, I know the uh, I feel the heat from the pans. You are ready to go to a absolutely to do a grouper dish. What exactly are we making today? Uh, so we're pan searing this grouper. Um, we're going to pair it with a uh, tricolored quinoa salad, um, purple kale, baby carrots, a watermelon putnesca, and a watermelon vinaigrette. I'll say a watermelon what and what and what is that? David, I want, uh, want you to brag on the mill sure. a little bit because not only is this a, a great place, St. Pete Clearwater, to uh, buy grouper, to find grouper, to spear grouper, right. but restaurants galore, and this is one of the best I hear. You know, I tell you what, you know, and Grouper Week is really just a, a fun promotion. We've got this fun spot with Gary Busey doing yes. a, a fish head voiceover, but it's really <laughs> more about promoting the destination as a culinary destination. A lot of people know us for beaches, sure, the Dolly Museum, the Clearwater Marine Aquarium, but they might not know our culinary offerings, our, our restaurant scene really is world class in a lot of different ways. The Mill in downtown St. Pete was just most voted the number one restaurant, new restaurant in the state of Florida wow. by Florida Trends. Get out of it's here. It's not Miami, it's not Fort Lauderdale, it's not Orlando, it's right in downtown St. Pete. The other thing people might not know is that we have the largest concentration of bars and restaurants in the entire Tampa Bay area, right in downtown St. Pete, right, and the mill is right in the heart of it on Central Right in Latin, the heart of it, yep. Just by Janice Lenning. So we're very, very, very happy and very excited to have Chef Dorsey with us today. Well, and I grew Thank up in the Bay Area, and I don't think, is this something relatively new where the grouper population has exploded recently, or has it always been this big? You know, this has been protected for a while. Okay. And this is, this is, we're working with the Department of Agriculture, fresh from Florida on this as well. We had a food truck out for the last couple of yeah. days. We gave away a thousand grouper sandwiches just to oh. raise awareness of the destination and, and, and how important this is to the economy. You talk about fishing and tourism meeting together. Those two industries coming together, and it's Grouper Week. Well, and Chef, talk about what it is about grouper that makes, I mean, grouper tacos, I know you can make. <laughs> grouper You're, sandwiches, yeah, I, I mean, love that. So much with grouper. Yeah, what uh, is it's it just a very that? versatile fish. Um, it's high in fat, and it's very uh, mild, you know, very subtle, almost almond undertones. Um, so it's, you know, very appealing to the mass. Okay. I knew that's why I liked it. <laughs> almond <laughs> undertones. That explains why I always want grouper grouper sandwiches. Is it easy to, to cook at home, chef? It is, it is. I mean, it's it, like I said, it's a very versatile fish, so you can sear it, grill it, um, you can cook it, fry it, you can cook it almost any way. Uh, my personal favorite is seared because you get to retain those beautiful flavors um, by cooking it in a pan or a cast iron skillet. Um, okay. And that way you get all that beautiful golden brown deliciousness. Chef, yeah. tell them about, about the cheeks and the eyeballs too. Whoa. The oh, the eyeballs. Do I, wait, do oh, I want to know? The, the, the cheeks are the, what I would consider the most delicate portion of the fish. They're delicious. Um, unfortunately, you only get two per fish, so they usually end up getting eaten by me and the sous chef at the restaurant. <laughs> uh, now uh, the yeah. truth comes out. Uh, you can eat the eyeballs. They're very, very good. I personally don't don't partake on them. Chef, um, come on But uh, they, are, they are good. As we're getting a shot of the eyeballs, Eyeballs right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, and how many different varieties of grouper are there? Because from my understanding, it's quite a few. I mean, is it a hundred or so? I was say really? dozens, hundreds. Um, okay. You know, and they go all the way up to Goliath grouper, which can be yes. four, four hundred pounds Those or more. Those things are massive. massive. Uh, you can see them in aquariums and, and different shots. So, you know, the other part of what we do is awareness and education. 
We have a fact sheet about Grouper, about the importance of Grouper to the economy, not just the tourism economy, but the economy in general on the Gulf Coast. Fishing, as, as you yeah. know, is a huge industry here. There's a lot of people employed in fishing. Well, and you mentioned spear fish, and that's how these guys, I mean, that's so popular nowadays. I mean, I just feel like that alone is exploding in popularity. These are, there's a reef system off the coast of Pinellas County. It's one of the largest artificial reef systems in the United States, and spear fishing out there is a very, very big and growing um, activity for people but this grouper right here you know black grouper um, the, the, the other ones gag grouper, Gags, chef, reds yeah. uh, I mean there's a huge list um, you know What's the most popular one to cook uh, gags blacks okay. Um, okay you will see a lot of reds from time to time um, but those are those are gag and black are my so favorite. if you're going to the grocery store and looking for one to cook at home or going to your local fish market or whatever I mean what should you look for black black, black. okay black. black would be yes. the most common in those places yeah. um, you know and the spear you know spear fishing for from a chef's perspective um, you know, when, when a, a fisherman's spear catches a fish, uh -huh. they shoot them and it's done. There's no tension on the body from a line or a reel. So you're a proponent. Uh, I am. I am a proponent of spear fishing. Okay. I have been for years. Um, I wish I had the time to do it. I know. Um, I, um, I do not. Um, no, I, I have done uh, different uh, cooking segments yeah. with spear caught fish for different yeah. various networks. And, and, you know, it's just uh, for us, it's a philosophy of it's less tension on the fish, better product at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we got Chef out here this morning. Usually he's sleeping right now because he, <laughs> works, he works late nights. And this is going to be a big weekend in St. Pete Clearwater. We've got the Rowdies playing. we got the Rays we playing. we got first Fridays. Morning. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks for the tease. I know, right? Yeah, you know, come on. Uh, so it's it's a big weekend, and I think Chef is expecting big crowds this weekend, too. Absolutely. Well, once again, who knew Tampa Bay, yeah. grouper capital of the world, there celebrating Is there a better week? place to live, right? I mean, that's why we love our show. We oh, get you, to promote, you know what? Uh -oh. I've, I've got something else for you. Uh -oh. Special. Ooh. Just for you guys, wow. official Love Thy Grouper t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> What's a good promotion without a good t-shirt? And so. you know what? I actually I've have one from last one. year, okay. and I love it. And so I'm so excited to have a second one. Thank you We make you so collector's much. items each year. Thank oh, you. I'm so excited. Thanks guys, thank us. you so thank much. You. And I thank learned you. a lot this morning. I hope our viewers did, too. And uh, now it's time to eat some grouper. That smells good. Yeah, I know yeah. it does. Look, he's finishing it up there.